assume we got one of these nice laser guns. Let's uh, let's recharge our current small laser gun real quick. Again. Oh shit! Wait, we can recharge these at these stations. I did not know that. Well, to keep that in mind. That means we can get a lot more use out of this current weapon. If you knife, you can actually move slightly faster while holding these giant... Actually, let's... Let's drop this real quick and go uncover all this loot that we missed. Alright. There's one right behind us at the far corner. Speed one, speed run trat, strats, hell yeah. We are speed running the hell out of this game. How are you today, Taco Trucks? No, we are taking our time. This is... <laughs> uh, this is ITGDQ. Isosly Triangle, game's done quick. Alright. Wait, I thought... Oh, we actually didn't grab that. Go back there. I think it's just one of these. Today's been stupid. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope not overly stupid. I've been hearing a lot of people saying that recently. Actually. A lot of people recently have been having stupid days for some reason. Kill the battery on your car. But part was your fault. Oh no. Oh, I had to... My my brother did that like a week ago. But it wasn't really his fault. He had a short in his uh Actually, funny. He thought it was his alternator, but he actually had a short in the um one of his blinkers lights. And it was causing the battery to just continually get drained while he was driving. How was it partially your fault? <laughs> okay, so we got this one. It looks like there's two in that central command area. One. Oh, throwing knives. Nice. Okay. And then up and around the corner and to the right. Wait. Oh, up here. Shit, I didn't even know we could go. We must have to go through here to get up here. It was raining and I forgot to turn off my headlights and fog lights. Oh, yeah. That, that'll do it. <laughs> Through an 800 watt amp, too. Yeah. I gotcha. Well, hopefully it was an easy fix and you just got someone to come jump you. But yeah, that always really sucks when you when your battery dies right when you need it. Alright, let's keep carrying this with us. Upstairs, let's grab these last two items and then head this way. It's nice to know that we can recharge these with the recharging stations now, actually. That could save us a lot of ammo. Whoa. Let's actually drop this here so we can run and then we'll come back and get it. Wait, what? That's not. That's not what I meant to do. Huh, okay, so we could have snuck up here through the opposite side. That's good to know. What's that? Oh, is this another? Yeah, it's a shotgun, okay. Oh, we're gonna We're gonna hold on to this guy for now. Gonna loop around here to the right and just kill everybody with this. The assault rifle, maybe. Take a med kit. Another grenade. Doesn't look like we can get through there, so we're gonna just go back the normal way. 
Did it die while you were in it? Oh, we can't even... Maybe we can go through here. Let's check again. Oh yeah, okay, nice. Oh! Delightful! Can't go back that way. So I think we're gonna try and draw them all in here and kill them slowly. Oh! Where is this fool? There is a, there was a... I think we got him. Nope. There we go. Okay. Now, I don't think we can recharge this here. Actually. I'm gonna run up here and see if there's a recharge spot real quick. Let's do a new Grizzly Bear album instead of going inside. <laughs> I feel that. I, I do always enjoy sitting in a car and listening to music. Alright. Is that guy dead? Yeah, he is. Okay. Can we recharge from in here? It doesn't look like it. Shit! That was way too close. We are very low on health. Let's get our secondary assault rifles out. And then let's throw a couple grenades down to these guys. Nope! <laughs> the damn grenade hit the freaking wall. Oh, more shotgun shells. Nice. Ideally, we would be able to grab another one of those directly into the control room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where they are, but we can't really walk out there right now without getting gunned. No! You mean this room? No. Okay. Yeah. There's a bunch- there's a bunch in there. There's actually tons of rechargers all- in, all around this area. I think we're just gonna go grab the, grab this gun right here. Where is this guy? Should be right around this corner to the right, I think. Okay, got one. Let's recharge real quick. Grab some ammo. And face tank him until he's dead. Alright, let's recharge again. Oh. Oops. Alright, so now we're supposed to take the. <laughs> it's kind of a comical storyline, actually. We're stealing a train. That's just armor. 
a full size train right from underneath the noses of the Nazis. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, we probably don't need this anymore. Oh, let's recharge. Let's recharge this before we head out. Alright, we do have a throwing knife here as well, so now we can start stealth killing people with throwing knives. So it should be all the way down here. Are we about to conduct this shit? Hell yeah we are, let's do it. Boop boop! Hey, it's our friends! I always end up doing all the fighting. Oh. Okay, well, I'll just get to work. Oh, our relationship with Wyatt is so messed up. Almost as steal it, stupid as stealing a submarine. I think you mean a U-boat? They supply the torpedoes to all the Nazi U-boats in Europe. You will hide in the torpedo. You will hide in the torpedo? Holy shit, that sounds so dumb. Once we have a U boat, we take it to set secret safe keep, yeah? What if they shoot you? Get in the way. Bang bang soda pop. Bang bang soda pop. Air holes. Okay, Carrera Johnny. Get in the torpedo. Once you bought the U boat. Patch this <laughs> thing into they the make him do the stupidest Raise shit. The antenna buoy. We need radio contact. They even admit it in the game. Like they, earlier, there was a mission. They were like, "So, does anyone want to do this? This seems really dumb." And they're like, "Nope." And then everyone just turns and looks to him. And he's like, "This is stupid." For now, I just missed the light. But he's our savior. All right, another guy to stealth kill. There's one there's one other guy patrolling down here, I think I saw. Maybe he was up top. There he goes. Okay, where was that guy? I'm gonna find out before I restart from the last checkpoint. Do you think he saw us from above? Oh, no? Yeah, he must have seen us from right above us. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay. Now we know. Stealing a submarine. No one would ever steal a submarine! That would be ridiculous! Up top, yay. Yeah. One interesting thing though is they don't really reward you. Like there's not a bunch of reason to stealth kill the guys except for that it makes it easier. All right, there we go. Makes it easier. You sometimes can, are able to sneak through areas in this game. Whereas in Old Blood, there's actually like achievements for stealth killing 20 of them and all that stuff, so. Do we still not have any throwing knives? Yeah, we don't. That's one of the few stealth perks we still have left to get. Alright. Oh shit, look at all these uh, collectibles. We will be trying to get those. Torpedo room. To get collectibles and the rest of the perks. Yeah, you should do it. Um, that's what 
That's one of the things I, I actually really enjoy doing is replaying a game later on. Uh, and actually going through and like really grinding and finding the little things that I missed. We did that we did that with Prey earlier when it was released this year. Get every perk and most collectibles in old blood. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. I would do it. So I, I take it this is is are these some of your favorite games, Taco Trucks? These two? Oops. Plus, I could do this on Death Incarnate even though I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because we're playing... We're playing this one on Death Incarnate as well. No, not favorites, I got you. You just like them. We thought about... Since... We thought about doing this one on Uber since we did the last one on Death Incarnate, but... Figured, might as well save that for the new Colossus. Alright, that should be the first one. Oh, we actually missed one, it looks like. Let's, let's head back just a little bit. Armor. <clears throat> this one, it's a bit easier to find the collectibles in as well, because it goes ahead and tells you where they are. In a lot of cases. Oh, okay, that was the map of the area. Oh, you do have a throwing knife now, okay. I'll have to hold on to that. I mean, we'll have to start using it, because we need to get throwing knife kills. Yeah, so I think we'll probably try and do our um, new Colossus run on Uber, and see how that goes. It, could, it should be fun as hell, but we're gonna die a lot. Another throwing knife. Yeah, it looks like there's one more in these barrack rooms. Should be to our left, yeah. Oh, that was just a golden plate. Nice. <clears throat> Didn't really find any more silenced pistol ammo, which kind of sucks. Yeah, one thing I've really liked about this game is getting to read all of the side hit, like the alternate history stuff with the Nazis and how they won, you know, like their first landing on the moon, how they used the atomic bomb against the U.S. and that's why the U.S. had to surrender, all that kind of stuff. It's been really interesting. Sweet. I think we actually missed this stuff. Let's try going back up here real quick. Yeah, we did, okay. Or can we not get through this door yet? Huh. Maybe to go... Oh, it looks like we go down, then come up, and then are able to access these doors later. I think. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. The hell was that? That's... That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Shotgun all fair. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. What's cool is this th this thing has a uh, a bounce as well. So let's let this guy walk around, gun him down immediately. Here we go. And then, yeah, we can we can use a shotgun against him too. Or actually, let's just use dual wield. <laughs> oh, 
He like blew up in a puff of smoke. The hell was that? Oh, there's a recharge station that we can use. There's no, it doesn't look like there's any collectibles in this area. That was awful. Oh, he moved? Really? <laughs> right, let's try and grab both of these. Throwing knives? Let's creep a little bit. I think we're pretty close to getting this one. So, oh, yeah, we only need we only need one actually. And then we need we have we're not even close to this one. You can switch alt fire with both weapons, by the way. Oh, interesting. It's kind of cool. Good tip, Taco Trucks. Thank you. I kind of like this all fire. We're running out of ammo with these. We're going to save it for a more intense situation. Some health overcharge. What's that? Oh, another grenade. Nice. All right. All right. They should be alerted. So unfortunately, I don't. I don't think we're going to be able to stealth take out these guys. All right, let's listen to this entry real quick. I have my own apartment two floors above the bakery. I can't have this Nazi baby inside me anymore. It has to come out. Did we miss that? I took some pills from my mother's cabinet. They did not work. Did we? I think we missed two before, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's listen to these real quick. I want to hear them. Ramona writes, July 6th, 1941. The Nazi appeared Woot! in the overly What's up, police station. I learned this while tossing grenades into the building. Seven grenades went in, but not a single Nazi came out. God. Does killing Nazis make me a murderer? This lady no. is an absolute I savage. She's crazy. Soldiers do, and I have to steal myself from emotion, like a soldier does. Thaga Jugs, have you played both timelines with Wyatt living and with uh, Fergus living? So she's killing Nazis. She threw a bunch of grenades in there. Let's listen to this one real quick. August 9th, 1941. The Nazi appears to be highly gullible. I learned this as I pretended I was drowning and he dove in to save me. Body armor and all. Only why? Only to apply the gentlest of pressures to push him down until he stops struggling. I am pregnant. It's not showing, but I think mother suspects. So how did she get pregnant? To find an apartment for myself. Was she raped in these in the last ones or something? Guess I might save Fergus next time. Yeah, that would be actually really cool. It'd be interesting to see the interactions because, like, Wyatt gets super upset because you save Fergus and he thinks he's inadequate and all that stuff. So it'd be interesting to see if Fergus reacted in a similar way, saying, like, you should have saved the kid, I was old, didn't need you to save me, all that stuff. It'd be kind of a neat, like, side thing to do along with uh, getting the rest of the collectibles. August 30th, 1941. I have my own apartment two floors above the bakery. I can't have this Nazi baby inside me anymore. It has to come out. I took some pills from my mother's cabinet. They did not work. All they did was make me sick. Huh, okay. Uh, we fell, that's nice. So the shotgun's broken. She had sex with one of the, the soldiers she killed. I gotcha. I think, I think I remember something like that. Arm yourselves and deal with the intruder. All right. Ramona writes, September 3rd, 1941. The Nazi appears to be a reckless driver. I learned this after I cut his brake line and oh. his car went over a cliff as he drove down the mountain. I didn't see it happen, but there was a picture in the paper. I had a friend at the university who successfully terminated her pregnancy through consumption of penny royal oils. I have written her for instructions. You know, it's funny how sarcastic she is about it too, right? The Nazis appear to be a reckless driver. 
I learned this after I cut his brake line. Just to lure him in. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Did you play these on uh, PC or console when you played them? We do have our silencer on, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know why anyone would ever take the silencer off of it, actually. Xbox, nice, I got you. Okay, I guess we'll use real guns. one we had dual wield there but we we really didn't kind of odd right, let's go ahead and pull our dual wield shotguns out let's take them off alt fire for now and then let's get our yeah let's get those out as well so they know we're in here Wow, those guys have a lot of armor. They're actually stronger than the previous ones that we've been killing. Because normally if we just empty two full clips into one of those guys, he dies. So I think we're going to sit back and spray him down with one of our assault rifles. Let's try and rege regenerate health here for a second. There's a guy. Right. And our shotgun should be pretty useful from here on out. The problem with having low health like this is we get almost one shot at this difficulty level with almost all of them, all enemies, when we're at 20 health. There should be a guy right here across the way. Got him. Grab a little more armor. Oh, some more grenades. Nice. Whew. Nope. Got him. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? He just came around the corner and headshot me. One shot. Damn, that was going really well as well. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Shotguns. Maybe a single clip this time. Seem to work pretty well. Let's sixty is a lot better than uh than sitting on twenty out because we don't just get one shot by the regular dudes.
Okay, so we need to make we need to try and get a back shot on those those specific ones. So if we see him coming around the corner, we need to run around the opposite side of the of the area and let him walk forward. Actually, turn alt fire on. One of these uh, shotgun dudes is going to be coming out here in a second. I think. Yep, here he comes. on the opposite side, right over there. Oh, there it is. So it's really the front of them that's so armored. So if we can shoot them in the back, they're actually not that... Alright, got one. I think that's the last shotgun guy. Looks like there is one more shotgun guy. I think I just saw. Holy shit. There's a huge spider in here. I'm gonna kill it, chat. I'm gonna kill this spider. Immersion ruined, by the way. I did it. I saved the day. All right. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how they still shoot even at, even once you completely destroyed their legs. A little more realistic actually. Hell yeah! Okay. That area was pretty tough on this difficulty level. Alright. Now the real question is... Raise the buoys. 
Radio is not working with the four radio buoys. Rays need to take care of the first, of that first. Okay. So I need to shoot these chains off. Oh, man, antenna buoys. Buoys. Silly word. <laughs> buoys. Silly word. It's kind of a weird, weird thing for him to say right there. But, okay. Let's go ahead and recharge this. Okay, radio buoys are up. Let's call Caroline. Let's go ahead and gather all the artifacts in this area before we do that. So it looks like there's still two back there. And one more in here as well. So it's probably right above us on that big chair that we grabbed the grenades off of. There it is. I'm gonna grab some ammo while we're here as well. All right, now let's try and find our way over here. He's still, I think it's probably, this is the area with, that we weren't able to get into last time. Where can we go? Oh yeah, this is the door that opens from the back, maybe? No. Maybe up top? Let's try up top. Weird. I really thought this was how you would get get in here. You like those guns? Which ones? The dual assault rifles, Jasper? Or the dual shotguns? Huh. This is definitely where we should be going. Actually, it's not. Oh, well, I don't really feel like running all the way back there, and we've missed some before, so I'm not, I'm not super worried about trying to get them all here. All right, let's call Caroline. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I, I also enjoy them. <laughs> Ass riffles. Cats in the bag. Bags in the river. Woo! Way to go, Captain! We are airborne. Please keep this channel open so we can home in on your signal. These badass hey, helicopters Captain, that we stole. You've hijacked the Eva's hammer, the mightiest U-boat in the whole gosh darn Nazi fleet. Best of all, I'll tell you what, there is a nuclear cannon on this vessel. Jesus. A nuclear cannon. Good, a nuclear cannon. Just what we all need. This guy, the U-boat captain, paraded to his death rather than surrender his vessel. Took the decryption keys to the nuclear cannon with him. It won't fire. Normal shells, yes, but not the nuclear warheads. Why don't you talk to us, Captain U-boat? Why so dead? Huh. With those keys, we could just sail right up to Death's Head, obliterate the whole compound, end them once and for all. So, let's get decryption keys. Here's the problem. There are no actual nuclear decryption keys on planet Earth. They're stored at the Nazi lunar base. U-boat captains must learn them by heart. The lunar base is as secure a facility as the Nazis have. It's where they do all their top secret research these days. Yeah, because it's on the moon. I'll go to the moon. And this time, Ryan, no one else has been to the moon. Putting together a plan back at HQ. The moon! Alright. I think that is going to be it for me today. Like I said, we're having a bit of a shorter stream today because we are going to be playing some Absolver tomorrow morning as an early stream just to get some of that gameplay in. Um, and then we'll be back. Be careful of Samantha, right? Jasper coming in with the Black Ops zombie <laughs> Easter eggs. But yeah, 
Um, we will definitely be fin be finishing this game at some point. Um, how early? So it, what it really depends on when Absolver is available for download. Um, I'm on Eastern time, and I was I checked before the stream about three and a half hours ago, and it wasn't available for download. So if after the stream I get off, or if any other time later this night it is available, I will download it then. If not, it should be available early tomorrow morning, and then we'll download it and immediately start streaming it. Um, so that will be sometime in the morning. If you follow me on Twitter, I will be tweeting out when we go live, and when we start downloading it, and whatever other updates uh, could be needed. We'll be, like I said, we will be finishing this game at some point. However, it won't be tomorrow. And Wednesday is um, my day off every week, and then Thursday we will be continuing with Terror Tuesday and Terror Thursday as well, where we will be finishing, hopefully, Darkwood, which is kind of an indie horror top-down game. Um, so if anything, we'll probably pick, the, pick this up and finish it up on Friday at 6.30 the normal time. Again, thank you everyone for coming out. Taco Trucks, it was nice for you to stop by, even if you didn't get to um, hang out with us for too long due to the short stream today. I really do appreciate it, and I enjoy playing this game, and I enjoy hanging out with you all. If you're new in chat and you enjoyed the cast, don't hesitate to throw us a follow to keep up with when we are going live and what games we'll be playing in the future. But yeah, we will be back definitely tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. EDT, and if all goes well and Absolver allows us to download tomorrow morning, bright and early, uh, <laughs> I will see you then. And I wish you all the best of luck out there in the real world until we return. Taco Trucks, I hope your battery doesn't stay dead. And I hope life goes better tomorrow. See you all then. <laughs> Have a great one.